as we fix that, we'll introduce him. Uh, and the Corsair Cup, game number two in his first best of three in the top right corner of Dust Towers. It's none other than the blue Protoss player, Seed. In the bottom left, as the red Zerg, it's Sulky. Now, that may not have worked in game number one, and I guess we'll show you guys the graphs really quick of what we're discussing. Uh, I think it's the worker count we're eventually going to replace with an APM graph, and you guys can see other cool things. But for now, these are the three. It's still beta. It's still new. And uh, the differential graph style is really neat, because you can see, like, oh, Chrono Booster early on. Let's get out, like, an extra probe. Cool. Income hype. <laughs> But anyways, I wouldn't put it past Seed to go for that same strategy again. I actually don't think that worked out too poorly. He did that all with completely misreading the situation, letting Lynx get into scout, fumbling the execution. Like, if he had pulled that off perfectly, he may have killed everything faster and then been home sooner, and then maybe we wouldn't have that same almost stalemate situation. Hmm. All true. I just, for me, I pin that more on Sulky. Uh, not fault, but just like the weird stuff that he does. Like, if he goes for roaches and ravagers, it doesn't seem to really matter if you don't scout and all in sometimes. Like, they're already so far gone with a three after four pool, which is exactly what Tolkien did. That, you know, by the time you're ready to do a two base all in, they're ready to start doing a three base push type of deal. The fact that Sulky is experimenting with mass lings and a lot of queens is certainly interesting, but of course it will create wonky games like that. I uh, I don't think you'll you'll see that twice in a row. Well, wonky games for sure. It's actually uh, it's funny you bring that because we kind of talked about Scarlet's potential builds when we were casting her in that show match, and that's kind of the thing I would have expected out of her more than uh, Sulky, for example. But the other thing I've really enjoyed from Sulky, and we kind of referenced this before, was he, he's been doing some drop stuff lately, like bailings on top of adepts, uh, just trying to scooch huge amount, like four of lords, four of lings into a main. Like, I, I actually really enjoy that he's been experimenting. Sulky, for me, was always just a good Zerg player, but kind of a blind Zerg player. The fact mm -hmm. that he's kind of the one experimenting and taking that initiative in Legacy is already making me a bigger fan of Sulky than I was in the past. It is so interesting to see it, too. Like, it's it's not like he didn't have his cheeses, of course. Like, that's one of a bunch of tournaments, so he wasn't a pure macro Zerg. And it's not like he didn't have one or two odd builds in Heart of the Swarm that I imagine he would learn from his teammates or something like that. But to go from being kind of like retired on this like foreign team um, to coming back in Legacy of the Void and being one of the ones that's like innovating Zerg when honestly they don't really need to be innovated. Like they're doing pretty well with what is standard uh, is certainly like it's like his personality has changed <laughs> and as such his play style. But, you know, we don't know that. <laughs> He entered the chrysalis and was born anew, and now we have a butterfly. It's something like that. Like, it's like when they're in someone's handwriting changes, and that only happens when something like tragic or whatever happens. <laughs> That's not funny. Yes, yeah, so why are you laughing at that? That's. <laughs> Yo, sometimes I like I'm to joke about. I'm laughing at the metaphor. I, I joke at you having a cold heart, but like sometimes I think it's not a joke. You know, like. Oh. oh. Uh, this hey, is, is going to be interesting though. Another pain though. rain. Yeah, well, we'll see if this actually ends up being Bane Rain. He might just go for bus well, styles. I mean, to be honest, I'm assuming it's Bane Rain with the Overlord speed, of yeah. course. But uh, Sulky's up to weird things lately. And to be honest, I'm, I'm done trying to call his builds because he always seems to do something a little bit different every single time. But Seed is, again, doing the same build. I, I actually think what Seed's doing is fine. I'm actually a lot more curious to see how this holds up versus this than it does versus the... A Night of Swarm, because unfortunately for him, Adepts are light units and they are susceptible to Banelings. Well, he doesn't have to make Banelings if he just lets them in again. Oh, oh my god. god. Seed. <laughs> Seed, please. Why? I expect so many good things of you, man. What are you doing? The, He's actually taking a nap. The, like, he just woke up. The, the, the Mothership core being delayed for favor of tech, that's fine. But not if you leave your door open like this. Oh god, all the probes. Imagine there are any Banelings. Pick, pick him up in the Warp oh, Prism! Dear. Why is he not picking him up in the Warp Prism? Just save him in the Warp Prism! Alright, uh, there's the one, overcharge. One overcharge, though. The Mothership is brand new. Ah, uh, that gateway at the front depowered. I mean, thank God gateway, or Warp Gate finished. Oh, two, two overcharge. It costs so little. I know. Drop another one too. Pick him up in the Warp Prism! See it, I believe! No, he's gonna go across the map, okay. Uh, once again, the adepts do have resonating glaive, so they attack much faster than normal. Uh, I know we're looking at the research tab, but that doesn't mean you can build Colossus. This is a bug with the collector's edition of the game. Oh my god, there's so, so many probes, dude. Yeah. Finally, those bandits are being made. He sees every single time that these probes move in like a clump, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Although Warp Prism, I didn't realize it had gone across the map. That is a desperate attempt. He'll have like three warp ins, and of course, that's only on the offense, not on the defense, or vice versa. This isn't gonna end well. Ugh, no, it's really not. That's gonna just see that now. Well, that will be a 2 0 here in the favor of Sulky. A little bit sad because. I was expecting greater things from Seed. I'm not gonna lie. He's one of my he's one of my favorite Protoss players. So, a uh, little bit a little bit sad here. I was really excited to convince him to play, but oh well. Congratulations to Sulky. He is a fantastic player and absolutely deserved that victory. Uh, this will lead.